Okay, here we go. We're in the Ferrari uh, 333 SP. We're at Long Beach. We're doing seven laps. Just jumping in. Friday night chill. AI's on 100. Um, this is just a... Make sure I've got enough fuel. Eight laps. Let's give myself one more lap, just in case we get heavy footed. And then let's drive. Let's just jump in here. Another one of the mods that kind of got lost under the flurry of pre 1.6 stuff. Uh, that is fantastic. It runs in the LMP900 group and is happy to be raced anywhere, really. It's got the initial first lap, everybody's on top of each other. Somebody on the inside, somebody on the outside. Just let them have the room. Sneaking behind the full before <laughs> antics there. It's going off road. Trying out to quattro styly. Okay, so what we have here is a very bumpy street circuit and a car that's uh, super stiff. Ooh, and it's really set up for more endurance stuff, really, but bags of aero, super stiff, stiff suspension, huge amounts of power, a delicate racing machine that we're taking on a road that's uh, more akin to Grammy, yeah, Granny Smith going down the shops for uh, weekly shopping. Going up the inside, duck behind the Bentley, it's following the Audi. So this is not stupidly technical, it, it, it has got this just rawness about it. So you've got to just let it have its head as they say in the horsey world, not that I'm from the horsey world, but basically if the cow wants to move around, they'll fight it. It's one of those cows you just got to let go compensate as it does don't try and micromanage every bump uh, you'll, you'll end up with broken wrists it moves around that much a bit of a lock up there from me it does tend to want to oversteer but it's quite easy just to uh, introduce understeering to it just to keep things sane it's well balanced the link in the description below to these cars, uh, threads from the flash mobs, I think, at the top of my head. Uh, apart from the uh, ooh, liveries on the Bentley that's in front of me, they're wolves actually. There you go, mods upon mods. We've added mods. So I've not been posted for uh, uh, this week, been busy, life. YouTube is not life. <laughs> so, uh, sorry for uh, if you're expecting some stuff. I've uh, had uh, other stuff that's uh, required my attention. Work stuff, you know, the usual. Come on, come on. Yes, hooked it. Don't cut me up. Ah. Brake early and just modulate the brake so it's harder towards the end, so I can just judge my distance and that uh, gives me a bit of room to play with. Back getting really unsettled over the bumps there, just let it run. Understeer, lift, just lift off the exit. If you're getting understeer, just lift. Whatever input you put it in on the uh, the throttle, however little it is, uh, just lift it. It'll, it'll step in. The steering is really uh, direct on this machine, as you would expect. So we open the taps and brake late, and get back on the Audi. Hopefully we'll be on the Audi for a while because I don't know what the car is in front of the Audi. 
could be one of these actually. Could be a Ferrari. It's got the colours right. Uh, that's what we could do there on the outside. He's determined to go through, rattle the wall. Dodge the wall, and again, and on the brakes. Accelerate that quick, you can get uh, caught up with what speed you're doing when you approach these bends, especially on short tracks like this. Ah, a little bit of black tarmac on the left hand side is quite smooth, so uh, try and use that if you can, getting on the power is something to uh, not complain about. Going up the inside here. It's still there. Oh my gosh, it is a Ferrari. Fucking up over the bumps. Covering that inside line to do anything in that bend. So all the bends are pretty uh, severe. Yeah, so there's not really a lot you can do unless it's a last minute dive. You've got to really kind of do it from the uh, exit as we just lock up and skip along the track. So yeah, you've got to kind of get it from uh, your corner exit speed, really your overtakes. not get it from spinning the rears up like that, are we? Nice speed section of the track. We are all the way up in fifth. Try and make it stick this time, are we? Jockey in the wall, stop jockey the tyres, got it. Stay with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, trying to. Trying to. Oh, gosh. Just trying to kind of uh, trail break the brakes over these bumps. Not a good idea. Just, just, just one bump and you, you catch and lock up the wheel. Use good old uh, crazy old steer. Get up behind the Toyota GT1. Which just screams early Gran Turismo in my book. Every time you see that car, it's like that was one of the god tier cars in Gran Turismo that you unlocked again. And you drove it and thought, oh my god, this is physics bending. Quick, quick one on the uh, the whole drama issue. Yes, don't do drama. Do opinions. Don't do drama. Um, but when when giving opinions on drama, I suppose that then makes it drama. So uh, yeah. What's my take on it? General YouTuber, general uh, internet, them isn't it? Anybody voicing any opinion? There will be opposite opinions, which is fine. And the opposite opinions are just there to uh, prove that the first opinion was completely wrong. To the empty grades, then you strain into the uh, the wonderful world of. Uh, yeah, silliness, really. <laughs> but enough of that, I knew I should have deleted that video.
but so I'll blame you a lot. You lot said that. Oh no, leave it up, leave it up. <laughs> okay then. Incur the wrath of the internet. Never mind. Such is life. Right, hope you enjoyed that. I was going to take the P1s around, but I just, um, yeah, I'll save that for the weekend. I think we'll do some a long race with a bit of uh, some pit stops and stuff. Give it a proper shakedown. All right. Anyway, adios. Have a good Friday night. What's left of it?